And hello from Humberside, the venue for this game is the KCOM Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's Hull City and they take on Birmingham City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to get off to a quick start here. Attack the game from the off, impose your game plan and hopefully we get a good game. Here's how the lineup looks for Hull City. Here's the lineup for Birmingham City. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. Ball's gone. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And he finds the net he could hardly miss. Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. The opening goal of the game, then. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Well, not very clever defending. And now, passing it through. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Well, a second goal for them here. And using his strength to shield the ball. Committed challenge. Well, there's no getting away from it. This is the man so many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. The rumours are true. Opportunity! And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass at finishing! Just can't stop him today! Well, we can see it again here. What a lovely inviting cross into the danger area that was. And the timing to get this spot on. Yes, it needs a bit of luck, but boy, does it need skill as well. It's a brilliant goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Riley McGree. Cosgrove. Ivan Sanchez and good use of advantage the referee allowing play to continue and the cross is very much on excellent ball towards the front post oh my goodness he's caught that so well a goal of the highest class 
Fantastic technique. Well, we can see here it's a good finish, but really it's all about the concerted pressure beforehand. Really disciplined, working as a team to force a mistake and regain possession high up the pitch. Then they take full advantage. And news coming through of a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday match. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a goal for Bournemouth. 24 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. An effective challenge. Hogan, and by a way for thin margin, offside. And he read it well defensively. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And the counter-attack is on, options available. It's opening up for them. San Jose. Crossing possibilities. Can they slot it home? Well, no damage done. San Jose. Just cutting off the supply. A change to the scoreline at Selhurst Park. A goal there. Alan will tell us all. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. It's been scored by Raul Rudias. The defender was trying to play out of defence and gave the ball away, leaving only the keeper to beat. 36 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. McGree might be able to produce from this position could play it in one minute of stoppage time has been added on March good looking sequence might be on for them so the half-time whistle is sounded and it's so far so good for the hosts and so the match is underway plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. They might be able to get in now. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty and an opportunity for them to pull one back here. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. And there it is, perfectly executed. Well, here it is again, and a good penalty for me is one that just hits the back of the net. Left, right, down the middle, just find the goal. 3-2 it is, who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Getting in there to take it away. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. I believe there's been a goal in the Blackburn Rovers game. Alan McAnally has the news. And he might be through here. And firing it to the near post. It had an invitation. attached but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity well just look at him he thinks he's in just wide at full time can you please well we never like cutting off Alan McAnally but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons to confirm Rotherham did score in that game and the match is level at 1-1 
real chance. Gives it a go. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Ivan Sanchez. And a goal has gone in at Selhurst Park. Let's hear about it from Allen. It's a second goal for Crystal Palace. 62 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks very much as always, Allen. And the referee blows for a foul. And they will make the change now. March. George Byers. Great opportunity. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Able to deal with the threat. Fran Villalba. Mikel San Jose. Now let us point you in the direction of the Europa League quarter-final first leg. The game is live on EA TV. It's Hull City facing Inter. Yeah, the quarter-final of any competition is a big game. So many teams have fallen by the wayside. Which one of these next two are going to lose their grip? Should be a cracking game, Derek. And news of a goal going in. And he's in. Is it going to be? There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back and he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAnally just then. Apologies for that. To confirm, Villa have scored in that match and their lead stands at 3-1. He's in behind. Will he? Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Dakaris Cogley. Kleibert. Harrop. But attacking possibilities. Climax! And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance! And let's join Alan McAnally now because I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday match. Alan. It's a third goal for Bournemouth. Four minutes remain. 3-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Rob them. Well read to win possession back. Three minutes of added time here. Moving into the advanced position. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, it must be a dream as a striker to play in this team. They create for fun. And Just a moment of your time. 